Hello, my name's Susie Johns and this course is called Learn to Draw. So lesson one was line drawing and lesson two is going to be negative space. Negative space refers to the spaces between and around the main objects or elements in a drawing. By observing the negative space, it helps us to draw more accurately. If you're a beginner, it may take some time to understand this concept and to accept it. It may also be difficult to look at a subject and actually see the negative shapes. So to help you, we'll begin with a simple exercise. Now for this exercise, you will need a rubber, an HB pencil, mechanical pencil or a wooden pencil and we talked about the different types in the first lesson um, line drawing. And you'll also need a softer pencil so uh, a 4B will do or a 6B or you may wish to use both, both 4B and 6B. And this uh, is a special eraser like an eraser pen for rubbing out fine lines. You don't need this at this stage um, but I've used it in the video. And then some cartridge paper, A4 size cartridge paper, um, and some leaves, because that's what we'll be drawing. A small piece of paper too, a piece of A5 paper for arranging the leaves on. So take your leaves and arrange them on the paper in a pattern that pleases you. I want these to lie flat, so I'm flipping some of them over just so that they will lie a little flatter. Try and arrange them so that the tips of the leaves touch the edges of the paper. And you might want to place the A4 paper on top of a, a coloured sheet of paper so that you can see the edges of the paper more clearly. So on your A4 paper you want to draw a rectangle which is A5 in size. And to do this, you can just put a sheet of um, A5 paper down and draw around it, or just mark the corners like I'm doing here, and then use a ruler to, um, to draw your A5 shape. And now it's time to start drawing. Um, I'm using an HB pencil for this and what I'm trying to do is to draw not the leaves but the shapes between the leaves, the pieces of exposed paper. It helps if you just constantly sort of find some points of reference and measurements. Where does the leaf tip touch the edge of the paper? Um, and then really use your observational skills to draw those negative spaces, the negative shapes. So while I'm demonstrating this drawing, I just want to talk a little bit more about why negative space is so important. See, when you draw a familiar object, one of the problems is just that that the object is familiar. You have seen similar objects before, leaves for example, and you've stored information about them so that when you look at these familiar objects with the intention of drawing them, your stored knowledge contradicts the information that's coming into the brain at that moment. It's a struggle in a way of making sense of what you see rather than what you know or think you know. But negative space, the shapes between the objects, well that's something that's unfamiliar and that means we are seeing or looking at it and seeing it for the very first time. See, looking at negative space helps us to look at objects as if they are unfamiliar too. So we can learn to look at those things with an artist's eye.
So if you're following this exercise, um, you may take, I don't know, 10 minutes to do it. You might take longer than that. Um, what I'm trying to get you to do, though, is to really, really look at the shapes and try and get them as accurate as you possibly can. Um, this means, at first, drawing quite lightly with your pencil. So it's easier to correct mistakes if the pencil lines are quite light. And, and really try to observe the relationships between the edges of the objects. So that's what's making that negative space in the center, for example, or um, what's making the negative space between the leaf edge and the edge of the paper. Um, there you are, if, if you want to correct it. Uh, if you see that you haven't drawn a very accurate line, then you can rub it out and, and redo it. So keep checking, looking at the spaces that you're drawing, going over them, changing them, rubbing them out if you, if, if you have to. It's difficult to get it right first time. You, you, you'll need to go over it and over it. But then when you're happy with the lines, use a darker pencil um, to draw your final shapes that you're happy with. Now comes the next stage. I'm just um, reinforcing that outline, just drawing it in a little bit darker because um, I think it will help me with the next stage, help me see those negative shapes more clearly. So using a soft pencil, I'm using a 6B pencil, I'm now going to colour in the negative shapes. You might notice that in this speeded up version, um, my pencil, I've had to, I had to sharpen my pencil several times during the course of this and um, ended up with a much, much shorter pencil than I started with. And that's what happens with a soft pencil. Soft pencils wear down quite quickly. So that's the main drawing exercise finished. Uh, Recognising, drawing and colouring in negative shapes. But if you want to try something else, how about this? Draw the negative shapes, but this time we're actually going to draw the leaves themselves, and the negative shapes will help us with this. I'm going to use a rubber just to knock back some of the lines, just make them a little bit fainter so that they don't um, sort of overpower the drawing. And I'm also going to play some music while I do the drawing, while you watch me do this tonal drawing of, of the leaves.